What is good, people? Lil Stain here, rapper, songwriter, and owner of the Search Engineers Marketing Agency, back with another NFT video. Today, we're going to be talking about apesinspace.io for my man, YRN Takeoff. I'm a little bit biased to this project because I am a Takeoff fan, but I do want to actually look at the facts and really see whether or not this is a project that is worth investing in. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to criticize it a little bit, and then I'm going to also talk about the upside and the potential of it. So without further ado, spin that shit. I was in the trap in school. Packs of in the Mitsubishi. Entrepreneurial spirit. I sold a lot. Them junkies were singing like Cindy. Always knew that I could kill it. I had to maybe just give it a shot. Let the cash counter spit and watch my fake friends. I Okay, so as always, I have a few key questions. Of course, who are the founders? Now that was answered at the intro to this video. Take off from the Migos is the founder of this project. Super dope. I'm a huge Migos fan. I've always been a Migos fan since like high school, bro. I mean, they've been consistent, killing it forever. So I love the Migos. Shout out to you. If you're watching this, Migos, I love you. But, and then there's, you know, who, who else, who else is a part of the team? So, um, we got this guy, Bob, Boba Ape is the art director. Okay. Um, now I don't really see links to their socials right here, which to me, I really don't like. And that's something that if you guys have been following any of my videos, you've been, you know, that I, that I talk a lot about that. Like I want, I want to know who the people are. I don't know why they're not showing who the people are. Is it, is it possibly because the people aren't credible? That's, that's kind of my question. You know what I mean? Like I'm not knocking anybody's hustle at all. Get your money, do your thing. But in reputable product projects that I've seen that are definitely taking off that are launching this December, hate beast being one of them. I've been talking a lot about them. Um, they, they don't have a problem showing who they are, right? Like they don't have a problem showing who their team is. Um, if you go on their website and scroll down to team, you'll see the, the team is stacked and it shows their actual profiles. So like they want you to know like, yo, please go look at our team and they're advertising that and they're clearly displaying for us who their team is. So that's the thing. Like I don't really see that on the apes in space website you guys do your own due diligence you guys figure out who the team is for yourself you guys make that call uh, again this is not at all investment advice please see the disclaimer in the description to just clear that up right off the bat before i even go any further i honestly think i took a little bit too long to even say that um although i am teamed up with a group of professional crypto and nft asset managers that will be able to help you with some consultations to find out what would be a good thing to invest in you can click the link in the description mta wealth management get a free 30 minute consultation when is the release date what will the mint price be mint date is going to be december 6th at 9 p.m est i don't see a price anywhere yet so there's that um not really a big deal uh, that's not like a deal breaker for me necessarily, I guess, uh, you know, some people might really want to just know right off the bat. Um, they, they must be a part of the billionaire ape yacht club or the party ape. I can't remember the names at this point. Um, yeah, so they kind of look like the party ape billionaire club, uh, project a little bit. I don't think that's the right account. Anyway, you guys get the point. They definitely look familiar as though they are teamed up with another crew. So next, I want to go over what their utility is going to be in the metaverse, what kind of utility they have in the metaverse or in the real world. What are they offering? So just going over a bit of their information from their website activities on the moon whitelist 20% of the supply. 2000 nfts will be made available to qualified whitelist members at a special discount the show must go on for vip concert tickets for a future migos concert will be awarded to two lucky nft holders i love this dude i like see because i've been talking a lot of, about nfts in the music industry how that's come like playing a role uh, i mean you know Takeoff took the step to actually make an actual NFT project, like an ape type project. He didn't even use his MP3, kind of similar to what Spotty Wi-Fi did. So I love it, dude. I just love the creativity, this whole thing. I support it. Uh, mooning. Once the project reaches 500 ETH in secondary sales, we will be giving away 25,000 in ETH to one lucky apes in space holder. 
Metaverse. Upon sellout, we will build the first launch pad in the Metaverse on Sandbox on a 12 by 12 piece of land. One in every 69 Space Ape holders will own 69% of one full square of land. So one thing that just comes to mind as well, right? Uh, so as I shared with you guys, I am the owner of the Search Engineers Marketing Agency. One thing that I see, man, and like this is just like a total side note, My man is taking action, right? Like you could say, oh, he's rich, whatever. He's already successful. But bro, like you got to think about that. My man is capitalizing on an opportunity here. Like you can't hate the man for that. You know what I mean? Like he's already tied up in so many other industries, I'm sure. So many other businesses, right? Uh, He does music, right? We already know that. He's very successful with his own music career. But he's capitalizing on an opportunity to leverage his brand and to actually like take initiative think forward and move forward right so many people can doubt oh how's my is my nft project gonna win is it gonna be successful am i gonna do everything right but like there's people in this world that are just taking action and taking steps forward for me i look at that as inspiration and i'm like dude how can i apply those same principles and that same thinking to my own life like can i just take action on an idea that i have can i keep moving forward on something that's already working or or try to make something else work so like total side note there but like i just i just see that as being like just inspirational and something that just charges me up to want to keep trying things myself and 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 making things happen so um i know we're talking about what is the utility um how how much will it cost to mint a space ape the official mint price will be announced before the public launch which will happen on december 6 2021 however whitelisted members will be rewarded with a discount of mint price during the pre-sale yeah so um the utility that we're kind of talking about that just was sort of covered under activities on the moon on their website if you want to learn more about that you could definitely check out their website link in the description apesinspace.io uh without further ado what is their following looking like uh over thirty-eight thousand on discord nft the the official instagram for nft did promote them and talk about them which is super super dope um apesinspace.io also be careful uh i was just in their discord and they were saying you know apeinspace.io is like running around dming people scamming people uh definitely be careful with that and and, like they clearly have to crypto wolves club mint.com so like they, they they were like even too lazy to like change the website name be careful man there's a lot of scammers in the nft space uh yeah apesinspace.io instagram fourteen thousand followers just over fourteen thousand. they look dope dude i i like the way that they look a lot and yo i mean it, it's funny too because like sure I, I try to be overly critical with these projects because people are investing a lot of money in them so i like to make these videos to be like this is what i think about it i look at this website and i don't know if this is something you know New projects are risky, man. New projects, you have to be careful with new projects. You have to do your due diligence. And this is all, this, these videos, that's all this is. This is just like, you know, me helping guide you through the facts as much as possible so that you're able to make your best possible call as to whether or not this is going to be a good investment for you. You're, you're likely going to be paying hundreds of dollars for this thing. You know, it's, it's at least important that you take some initiative on that to see whether or not that's a good call. I don't know. I, I mean, the, the the red flag that I see with other projects is they, they they don't just flaunt their team very much. They don't really have real links to their team. Um, it's like if you were to apply for a job, like they want to see your resume. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this is kind of the same thing. Like they're trying to offer you something. They're trying to sell you on something. Can I see the 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 car facts, so to speak? Can I see the details of this project so I can actually make an educated decision as opposed to just kind of taking your word for it? So I don't really know, man. I don't know about that. That's my main critique with this thing. A- aside from that, bro, like you have to be able to say, okay, take off. We know he's successful. He's been doing his thing for years. He's killing it. Do you think Takeoff is going to be the captain of this ship that is going to lead this thing to success? Do you think Takeoff is going to do a rug pull? That's on you to guess. I certainly can't tell you that. Again, this is not investment advice. Um, But yeah, I mean, we know he's a successful guy. So, I mean, you could say, well, he's been killing it for a long time. So, hey, maybe he'll kill it with this too. Who knows? right the project definitely looks cool i like that i know a lot of people really care about the overall design um so if that's important to you yeah i mean neon space glasses dude come on what's not cool about that 
Gears of War chainsaw on his back. Let's get it. Anyway, guys, that's really all I got for this video. I hope you got some value from this. I hope that this kind of helped you make an educated decision as to whether or not Apes in Space is a project that you want to rock with. Okay, guys, if you guys did get value, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That helps me give even more value to more and more people. As you know, it helps the YouTube algorithm. It helps me grow. Guys, you can also check out my music, the link in the description, linktree slash Lil Stain. That's me. The intro song was my song. If you like that, if you like this video, help by giving me a subscribe. I really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day, and thank you so much for watching. Peace. I'm a young next level money getting motherfucker Get my weight up meditating get the paper man It's mind body spirit maybe it's a bit pretentious Guess I never learned my lesson Guess I maybe should repent it I was in the trap in school Packs up in the Mitsubishi Entrepreneurial spirit I sold a lot Them junkies were singing like Cindy Always knew that I could kill it I had to maybe just give it a shot Let the cash counter spit and watch my fake friends drop